What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Today I'm doing the old dirty Canadian whiskey. Uh, Liquorman's old dirty Canadian whiskey. Uh, this one was made uh, by the Trailer Park Boys, okay? The show Trailer Park Boys. It's a Canadian show, they wanted to do a Canadian whiskey. Um, this show was pretty popular in Canada for quite some time, all right? Recently, I think within the last year, uh, one of the main actors passed away. Um, I don't know if it's still airing, to be honest with you. But before I get too much into detail about that, I wanna tell you guys a little bit about Snups. So, Snups is an app that you can download on iOS or Android for free. Uh, what it is, is an app that you can upload your shelves. So you put virtual shelves in your profile and what those virtual shelves will consist of are things of your choosing. So I have single malts, I have blended scotch, I have world whiskeys, I have Canadian whiskeys, I have American whiskeys, um, I even have other spirits. Okay, and I have a hat selection because they have a ton of other options and categories you guys can search through. They have watch collections and book collections, clothing collections, sneaker collections, that sort of thing. Okay, so um, the app is called S N U P P S. That's how you spell it. It's called Snups. I highly recommend you guys check it out. It's very cool if you're a collector. I'm a collector of whiskey, so I use the app for myself. Um, and it's pretty cool, so check it out. Back to Liquorman's Old Dirty Canadian Whiskey. Balled at 40%, mostly corn, if not entirely corn whiskey in here. Um, there is definitely some added color. It's from Nova Scotia. It's entirely sourced, this whiskey. Obviously, the, the Trailer Park Boys don't have their own distillery. so. It's a little bit of a, a gimmick. I'll give you a close look at the label, all right? When this was first released, the actors from the show went to various LCBOs and signed bottles. Um, they're really funny guys. I highly recommend you check out the show. As for this whiskey, I'm about to tell you. Okay, not much to smell here. It's sweet smelling. Caramel for sure. Maybe a little bit of apple in there as well. Okay, so it's smooth, but it's not viscous at all. It's actually quite uh, the opposite. It, it fades. Um, it's got some sweetness. There's probably some rye in there now that I'm tasting it. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's between 30 and $40 at the LCBO. It probably, if, it, if there was a limited amount made of this, it probably will be worth something eventually just because there's a big group of people that are fans of the show that might want to collect something like this but I I don't know how high that would go it's more valuable to people that watch the television show than to people that drink whiskey in my opinion um, it would be a great mixer <clears throat> but you're not gonna be mind blown. It's basic stuff, it's smooth, it's sweet. It's not bad tasting whiskey by any means. I've had much worse in my opinion. Um, that's probably a C plus, maybe a B minus. It's not bad. It's not something I'm gonna go out and replace. I probably won't even finish this unless I'm pouring it in somebody's coffee or as a mixed drink. It's not something I'm gonna hit up when I need a drink. That being said, it's not bad. 
um, there's gonna be a lot of people out there that like this whiskey and I don't blame you it's the right price point for people that are looking for something easy to drink something sweet that's not overwhelming 40% entry-level type whiskey all right so C plus is my score uh, maybe you guys think higher of it so let me know below I'm very very curious to know what you guys think and that's it you guys can check me out on Instagram Twitter and Facebook um, you can also check me out on patreon cheers